Bonjour et bienvenue à Coffee Break French. Welcome once again to Coffee Break French. Vous avez faim? Vous avez soif? Are you hungry? Are you thirsty? Well, in this lesson, we're taking our visit to the cafe a stage further and ordering some snacks. You can use je voudrais again, but you'll be learning some new vocabulary to help you order food and drinks in a cafe or restaurant. I hope you enjoy the lesson. Now, the first thing that we're going to learn tonight is how to attract the waiter's attention. Of course, you could stand on the table and do a dance if you like, but it's probably easier to say, excuse me, or call the waiter over by saying, simply saying, please. One thing that you must not do, and that is use the word garçon. Garçon. Le garçon literally means the boy. And it is, in a sense, the word that's sometimes used for waiter in France. However, if you shout garçon, it kind of puts you back about 100 years and it will be really quite insulting to whoever the waiter is, or the waitress indeed, um, who is working in the cafe that you're in. So it's much better to say, please, s'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît. Or indeed, you could say, excusez-moi. Excusez-moi. But undoubtedly, the best way to attract the waiter's attention, other than, of course, dancing on the table, is to say, s'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît. And just do it with that kind of raising your voice slightly. S'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît. Très bien. So, once you've attracted the waiter's attention, then you can ask for your round of drinks. And, and I'm just going to put you to the test here, see how much you remember from last week. I would like you to ask for a round of drinks and I'm going to let you make it up this time. But you're asking for four people, yourself, your friend, your brother and your sister. Okay? Okay. So start by attracting the waiter's attention. S'il vous plaît. Oui, mademoiselle. Qu'est-ce que je vous sers? Uh, je voudrais pour moi un jus d'orange et pour mon ami un café crème. Et pour mon frère, une bière. Et pour ma sœur, un verre de vin. Alors, un verre de vin, une bière, un jus d'orange et un café au lait Non, un café crème, s'il vous plaît. D'accord, très bien. Well done, you picked up the fact <laughs> that I made a mistake there. Ok, good stuff. Now, let's try this again. And this time, I'm going to give you certain things that you're going to order. Ok, so for the same people, ok You are going to order for you a glass of red wine, for your friend a beer, for your sister a tea with lemon, and for your brother a pineapple juice. And let's see if you get the pineapple juice right this time. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Um, S'il vous plaît? Oui, qu'est-ce que je vous sers, mademoiselle? Um, je voudrais uh, pour moi un verre de vin rouge, s'il vous plaît. Et pour mon ami, I can't remember what I was supposed to say. I think it was a beer. Pour mon ami, une bière. Pour ma soeur, un thé au citron. Et pour mon frère, un jus d'ananas, s'il vous plaît. Donc, un jus d'ananas, un thé au citron, une bière et un verre de vin rouge, c'est ça? Oui, c'est ça. Très bien, mademoiselle. Ok. Now, in both those conversations, I asked you, qu'est-ce que je vous sers? Qu'est-ce que je vous sers? Now, that means literally, what do I serve you? What would you like? I could equally have said, qu'est-ce que vous désirez? Qu'est-ce que vous désirez? Literally, what do you desire? Or, qu'est-ce que vous voudriez? Qu'est-ce que vous voudriez? What would you like? Okay, so each time you would understand what's happening anyway because the waiter or the waitress is coming up to you and asking you the question, what would you like? But these are three ways that it might be asked in French. Qu'est-ce que je vous sers? Qu'est-ce que je vous sers? Qu'est-ce que vous désirez? Qu'est-ce que vous désirez? Qu'est-ce que vous voudriez? Qu'est-ce que vous voudriez? Now, last week, we learned two ways to ask for something. The first was by saying, I would like. What was that? Je voudrais. 
Okay, and then we also learned how to say for me and for other people. So for me was... Pour moi. And this week we're going to look at another example or another way of saying this. And that is the equivalent of the English phrase, I'll have. In English we might say, I'll have a glass of lemonade. In French you would say, I take. Je prends. Je prends. Je prends. Un verre de limonade. Je prends un verre de limonade. Or just, je prends une limonade. Je prends une limonade. And watch that because it's un verre de limonade, because verre is masculine, un verre. Un verre. But une limonade. Une limonade. Because limonade is feminine. Un verre de limonade or Une limonade. Une limonade, un verre de limonade. Très bien. Let's imagine the situation that you'd already had a coffee and this time you wanted to say another coffee. Now, the word in French for other normally is autre. 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 However, if you said un autre café, then what you're actually saying is that you want another coffee. You don't want that one because there's a fly doing the backstroke across the cup. You want a different one. Un autre café. So you wouldn't say un autre café. You would say, je voudrais encore un café. Je voudrais encore un café. Now, in any good opera or musical or theatre or, or, or whatever, you might hear encore, encore being shouted. And that means again, again. But literally, it's another one. So they're looking for another performance of a particular song, the encore. Encore means, therefore, another one of the same. Okay? There's no fly doing the backstroke this time. Encore un café. Encore un café. S'il vous plaît, encore un café. S'il vous plaît, encore un café. Encore. Encore. Un café. Un café. So it's just two different nasal vowel sounds there. Encore un café. Encore un café. Yeah, the first one is en, so that your 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 chin is sticking out, if you like. Encore. Encore. And then you make your mouth really wide. Un café. Un café. Pronunciation is really important, so do try your best to get these sounds. Encore un café. Encore un café. Très bien. How would you say another glass of red wine, please? Encore un verre de, de vin rouge, s'il vous plaît. Encore un verre de vin rouge, s'il vous plaît. Encore un verre de vin rouge, s'il vous plaît. Okay, now, we've been talking about drinks so far, so it's now time to have a think about some possible snacks that you may have in a café. Now, most cafés in France would probably have the option of, of eating something too. And in many cases, this might be, for example, just a snack. Um, it might be sandwiches or, or a portion of chips or french fries or something like that. So let's just stick with that for the time being. And let's first of all learn the word to eat. To eat is manger. Manger. Now I'm sure we've come across that before. Manger, to eat. Manger. Manger. J'aime manger. J'aime manger. What does that mean? I like eating. Yeah, I like to eat. I like eating. Now, the word to drink is boire. 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 So we have boire. Boire. And manger. Manger. Now, while we're talking about eating and drinking, I already mentioned in the introduction to today's podcast that to say I'm hungry, you say j'ai faim. J'ai faim. Now, literally, that means I have hunger. La faim is hunger. J'ai faim. J'ai faim. So, if I have hunger is j'ai faim, 
then I am thirsty becomes I have thirst. And that is j'ai soif. J'ai soif. J'ai soif. J'ai soif. A possible question that you might want to ask in a cafe is On peut manger ici? On peut manger ici? Now, ici means? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Ici means here. Do you remember près d'ici? Yep, I did so. Okay, so ici means here. So, on peut manger ici. Manger means? To eat. So, on peut means can one or can we? Is it possible to? On peut manger ici? On peut manger ici? Okay, just while we're using this construction, on peut, and then you can use really any infinitive, any verb in the infinitive form, and then add an ici afterwards. So, how would you say if the verb to smoke is fumer, how would you say can one smoke here? Um, on peut fumer ici? On peut fumer ici. Now we're going to be coming back to on peut in a future lesson, but just I wanted to introduce that just now. So, on peut manger ici? On peut manger ici? Can one eat here? Okay, now let's think about some of the things that we might want to eat. We'll just cover a couple in this podcast. Un sandwich. Un sandwich. Un sandwich is most likely to be a sandwich made of crusty baguette bread with a filling. Okay, so a sandwich, but it's not necessarily a sandwich, perhaps in the UK style of sandwiches. Un sandwich. Un sandwich. And you might want to have un sandwich au jambon. Un sandwich au jambon. Now, jambon is ham. So, un sandwich au jambon, a ham sandwich. Un sandwich au jambon. Un sandwich au jambon. Or another possibility, very common in France, would be un sandwich au fromage. Un sandwich au fromage. Fromage would be... Cheese? Yes, it's cheese. Le fromage is cheese. Un sandwich au fromage. A cheese sandwich. Again, with the baguette style bread. Un sandwich au fromage. Un sandwich au fromage. And it's quite possible that you might well get un sandwich au jambon et fromage. Un sandwich au jambon et, et fromage. Yeah, a cheese and ham sandwich. Okay. You might come across something that's very French, and that is un croque-monsieur. Un croque-monsieur. Now, a croque-monsieur is kind of like a cheese and ham toasty, using square bread rather than baguette-style bread. Un croque-monsieur. Un croque-monsieur. And you might also come across un croque-madame. Un croque-madame which is exactly the same thing, but with an egg on top. Un croque-madame. Un croque-madame. So we've got un sandwich, un sandwich au jambon, un sandwich au fromage, un croque-monsieur, un croque-madame. You also might ask for des frites. Des frites. Des frites are chips if you're in the UK, or French fries if you're elsewhere. Des frites. Des frites. Okay, so that's some of the possible things that you might ask for in a cafe where you're going to be able to manger, ou on peut manger, where you can eat. Now, there's one thing that we haven't done, and that is pay our bill, or ask for the check. So, to ask for the check, or the bill in French, you would say l'addition, s'il vous plaît. L'addition, s'il vous plaît. Now, the addition... Is, is this written exactly the same way as the English word addition? So it's where all the prices are added up. L'addition. L'addition. So when the, the waiter or waitress comes over, you could simply say, L'addition, s'il vous plaît. L'addition, s'il vous plaît. So he or she will bring you your bill and you'll be able to pay your meal. 
So in this week's podcast, we've covered quite a few things, very useful things for dealing with a cafe situation in France. First of all, we learned how to attract the waiter's attention. And how would you attract the waiter's attention in a cafe? S'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît, oui. And how would you say I'll have or I take when you're ordering for something for yourself? I would say je prends. Je prends, je prends un verre de vin, je prends une limonade, and so on. Can you remember how to say another coffee, for example? Encore? Encore un café, encore un café. Encore un café. Of course, if you said un autre café, then people would understand what you were talking about. But encore un café is the best way to say it. Encore un café. Encore un café. Now, what's the verb to eat in French? Manger. Manger. And to drink? Boire. And to smoke? Fumer. Fumer. Okay, so how do you say, can one eat here? On peut manger ici. On peut manger ici. What about, can one smoke here? On peut fumer ici. Très bien. Can you remember how to say, I'm hungry? Yes, uh, j'ai faim. J'ai faim, literally, I have hunger. J'ai faim. J'ai faim. And I'm thirsty? J'ai soif. J'ai soif, très bien, j'ai soif. Okay, and finally, we learned some words for snacks. We learned the word for french fries, chips. Frites. Des frites. What about a ham sandwich? Un sandwich au jambon. Un sandwich au jambon and a cheese sandwich. Un sandwich au fromage. Uh, we also learned the word for a cheese and ham toasty. Un croque-monsieur. And can you remember what the difference between un croque-monsieur and a croque-madame would be? A croque-monsieur has cheese and ham it and a croque-madame has an egg on top of it. Exactly. Finally... We learned how to ask for the bill, and the bill is the addition of everything that you've had. So you ask for? L'addition. Très bien. L'addition, s'il vous plaît. And that is where we're going to leave it for this podcast. And that's where we're going to leave it today for this edition of Coffee Break French. Thanks for joining us, and we hope it's been useful. You can join the Coffee Break French community on Facebook at facebook.com slash coffeebreakfrench and we're at Learn French on Twitter. Merci beaucoup et à bientôt. This is a production of the Radiolingua Network. Find out more at radiolingua.com.